What's poppin', what's poppin', let's get it, let's get it, let's go, let's go, man. Them semen retention urges, they real. The more days you go on, they get realer. You know, and some dudes, they they surrender to them, you know, and especially a lot of young guys, and I understand, bro. Like I say, that this journey is not for everybody at the same time. You know, some dudes, you might have to get it in before you take this journey because it'll, it'll be really easier. You know, for me, I, I did that my whole 20s. I did that when I was 30. I did that when I was 31. So now at 32, I really can take this journey serious. You know, I really have like memories to live off on and stuff like that, you know, but for me, it's not easy either. So that's where I know. So if you in your early 20s and you ain't really have that much, uh, that much action in your life, it's gonna be even complicated because you're gonna be like when things happen to you, like let's say a girl walk up to you and she say, I want you like now, like <laughs> a lot of guys will just give in. You will just give in. Bro, it's it's girls right now that, you know, I could call over and tell them to come, but I know the life I want next year. I know how I want to be living next year. So I know the energy I need. Yeah, it's Sunday. They they wild New Orleans on Sundays, you know. But I know the energy that I need to get to that point. So I can't just give out my energy like that. I know the energy I need to make these videos, so I can't be giving out my energy like that, you know. And that's another thing too, bro. Just kind of off topic, but for men, bro, we have to start protecting our energy. We be giving our energy. kind of make me sad. It kind of make me sad on the slip. We be giving our energy to any and every girl, bro. Just to get that vagina, like, we'll give our energy to the devil, to a demon, just to get that vagina, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy. You know, you have to get to a point, bro, where you, where you, um, you respect your energy, bro. Like, you protect your energy. You got to get to that point, bro. Like, you got to stop disrespecting yourself and just giving any chick your energy. It's chicks who be talking to dudes crazy, and they put up with it because they want their vagina. And the girls know. They know you want it. So they they go do a little stuff just to, just to make themselves feel good. And dudes just put up with it because they want it. Because the girl beautiful, bro. Yeah, I understand this girl is beautiful, bro. Today I saw an Asian chick, so fine. I'm like, I'm like, Lord. <laughs> I'm like, Lord. And me, I'm the type. When I look at a chick, first thing I look at is the nails. When the nails pretty, it's a wrap for me. I'm like, I'm just melting. <laughs> I'm just gonna melt if I see the nails down, bro. You know, I, I just melt, bro. But as a man, you really got to stand your ground, bro. And sometimes you go, I'm telling you, some, when you first start protecting your energy from just any chick, yeah, sometimes you go come home, you go feel sad because you go know if you would have kissed her ass, you would have got some vagina. A whole lot of dudes just kissing ass to get vagina, bro. You do not want to be that guy. Shout out to Patrice O'Neal, bro. He used to always say, you have to be willing to pick up your basketball and go home. Yeah, you're going to be sad for a little while, but you're going to get over it. And the more and more you do this, you're going to build that self-confidence, bro. See, you really build your self-confidence by standing your ground. So let's say you're getting bullied. You got to stand your ground. Let's say your boss talking to you crazy every day, and you've been giving him chance after chance after chance. And one day you're like, man, fuck that. If I lose this job, hey, I just lose my job, I'll find another one. But today I'm standing my ground. The day you do that, you build your self-confidence. Your girl talking to you crazy one day because she used to talking to you crazy all the time. Your wife talking to you crazy because she used to doing it. One day you're like, man, fuck that, I'm standing my ground. Guess what happened? 
You change her forever or she gonna leave you. But guess what? You stood your ground and your self-confidence went up. That's how you gotta look at life, bro. You gotta always stand your ground because it's important that you protect your energy, bro. Like, stop giving your energy to just any chick, bro, that comes your way or to any chick that you attracted to, bro. Because the same energy you give out, when you put yourself around these people, bro, that energy go bounce back to you. And that's why sometimes a lot of dudes be depressed for no reason. Your life going good, but you dealing with girls who are miserable. You dealing with girls who got demons and stuff like that. Man, forget all that. Forget all that. You know, and I had to, man, look, I'm a type of dude. I love those gothic girls. I love, but I can no longer deal with girls who, who dwell in self-pity. I used to love it at first. I used to love those type of girls who, who just sad all the time and who just, th those are my type of girls. But now I can't do that no more, bro. <laughs> if I want to become better, I have to attract the girls that's like, they, they, they sunny on the inside. Like they not sad all the time, you know? Everybody can walk around here being sad all day. We all got things that we could be sad about, you know? But protect your energy, bro. That's very important. You need your energy to work, to make more money, to live a better life, to be a, uh, to become a better man. You need your energy. And if you letting girls talk to you any kind of way, if you letting people talk to you any kind of way, if you just letting life do its number on you, and you dwell in self pity, bro. I'm telling you, you gonna always be miserable. You gonna always be miserable. You know, a lot of dudes, I'm telling you, I, I know how the game go now. Dudes ain't talking to chicks no more. Instagram, Bumble, Hinge, Tinder, all that. And you giving all these girls your energy. You starting conversations. Let me tell you the game on these dating sites. When you talking to these chicks and you start talking and talking, they got you. They got your attention already. That's all they need these days. They got, they have sex toys. <laughs> they don't need they don't need us no more, bro. Sad to say. Sad to say. Now until you run into that woman that wants you into her life and stuff like that, cool. Hey, you focus on your life, bro. Don't be out here just giving any any chick your attention because she look good or you heard the vagina was good. Don't do that, bro. Cause you gonna be a miserable dude. You gonna be a miserable dude and to be a man that's miserable, nobody nobody gives a fuck about a man that's miserable. Nobody. You can't go complain. You can't go vent to nobody. Because guess what? When you vent to a chick, what's going to happen when she get mad? She going to throw that shit back right on you. <laughs> that's why you like this. That's why. Yeah. So you got to do it for yourself. You got to take them L's. You got to be willing to pick up your basketball and go home. You got to be willing to sacrifice sex so you won't get disrespected. Always protect your energy, bro. Let nobody talk to you greasy. Let nobody bring their negative situations onto you. Now, you go have friends and stuff who, who vent to you and stuff like that. That's cool. You don't, you don't want to be an asshole. And, you know, you can give them solutions or you can just be there for them. But you can let them know, look, I don't need negative energy in my life. I'm trying to change my life around and all this got to change. I'm telling you, a, a lot of you dudes in relationships and you got girls who, you got girls who uh, bring in negative energy around you all the time. Or you got baby mama who give you negative energy all the time. Hey, it's time to stand your ground. It's time to tell them, look, something got to change. Because everything is energy, bro. Everything is energy. Money is energy. That's why I call it currency. Everything is energy. So you don't, you always want to protect your energy, bro. From anybody that's trying to get in your way or whatever. And stand on your ground. I'm telling you, it's going to build your self-confidence. So always, always remember that, you know. So I hope y'all have a good day, man, and stay safe out there.